Hey guys, Joe Simpson. So today's going to be a little bit of a field trip and a lot of us like to go fishing but along with fishing sometimes we like to do a little camping. So if you're going to do some camping and you want a really nice tent, I wanted to review the Gazelle T8 today to show you a, like a family or a base camp type tent. Now this isn't going to be the type of tent you would go hiking with but it is a nice sized tent that is fairly waterproof and would be good for like family outings or you know riverside camps or drive up camps that type of thing. Um, so check it out. Let's take a look and we'll go over all the details and you can tell me what you think later. The thing is massive. So if you're looking for a hiking tent or a tent that you can take and uh, put on your backpack, this ain't going to be the one. This is going to get thrown in the trunk of a car, bed of a truck or on top of a car. It probably weighs, shit, I bet that weighs 40 pounds. No kidding. Like that's pretty heavy. It's got good handles. I mean, you've got a handle in the back and the front, so you can walk it out. But literally, I'm not going to walk with this thing much more than uh, 30 or 40 feet before I get tired. Two people could do it, no problem. But anyway, let's get into this thing. I'm not going to, like, speed put this thing together. Like, some people are like, let me show you how fast I can put this together. I'm going to do this casually because I want to just take you through it. And, you know, one thing you notice right off the bat, and I've had this thing together and back in the bag once already, is that they did a great job making sure the bag was big enough to restore the tent. You've got the rain fly, it's going to keep you dry. Let's put that to the side. And then you've got the, the actual tent, which just pulls right out like this. So I like to put everything off to the side. Inside the bag is going to be some stakes and some ties and things like that. The other thing I like is these Velcro straps. They really do help store this thing and keep things nice and neat. I like to put everything back in the bag so I don't lose it. So different than a conventional tent, this thing has kind of a built-in exoskeleton, you might say. And it just pops up. And uh, it was inspired by, I think, some of those uh, ice fishing tents. So you can see the black bottom here. Basically, it just folds out, just like this, right? And you can kind of see the shape of it come into life as you fold it out. So I like to get the square kind of established and uh, see what I'm looking at. And I just start on one side and work my way around. I didn't read the book or anything. I'm proud of that. All right, so you just grab the string here in the middle, start popping, it starts popping together. It's pretty easy. I get out of breath, I apologize. I'm 52 and I'm allowed to be old and out of breath. So as you go around, you're gonna have to start standing it up. And I start going around, working on the first square. <clears throat> Gets a little tougher as you go. And last but not least, that's it. That's pretty cool. I mean, you gotta admit, the amount of time it took me to do that was like, nothing. So you might ask like, hey, why is the top down? We'll get to that. So we got the rain fly and so far I haven't touched a stick. So there's no sticks in this thing at all. The only sticks you find is on the fly. And they're on each corner because you can see up here, there's those metal rods. So what I like to do Put one here. Yeah, I take these first two and get them in place. And then that allows me to take this other one and kind of flip it up over. I'll just throw it up there in the middle somewhere. Like this. Now you get this other corner. And if you had two people, it'd probably be a little easier. Here's the other one. 
see where we're going with this. I know you can't see this other side, but it's the same as the other three. All right. So you guys can see the fly is on, kind of see the general shape. And now that you've got your sticks in the four corners, you walk in and you pop the ceiling up. And conveniently enough, this tent has two entrances. That's open. You can enter from the back or the front. And a lot of people complain about, you know, these entrances. And I think they're fine. Um, they're not awkward for me at all. A lot of people don't like the way that they're kind of angular. They would rather like a big square door. But um, honestly, I think they're pretty convenient, especially having one in the front, one in the back. The zippers are nice. You can tell they're like a, a good quality. I'm going to be cool and take off my shoes. So I'm just going to go in and pop this up, and then we'll take a walk around the outside, and then I'll take you guys inside. So from the outside, you can see me popping this up. Going from the middle to the back, popping up the other side. You can kind of see that, how that happened. And once I get these up, I like to walk around and check the uh, four corners of my fly, make sure they're kind of in where they're supposed to be, I'm not too stressed out. Sometimes these sticks look a little cattywampus. There we go. Let's take a quick walk around the outside of this thing and uh, see what we got. So this is the Gazelle T8. It's not pinned down. It's not stretched out nice and tight. And the sides of the fly are not pulled out. But when you pull these out, they would obviously pull out to the point where you could shed some water with those things. And a closer look at these sides, these sides just pull out like this and you've got um, collapsible walls. Now I hear that these can collapse under extreme pressure, but keep in mind, you've got these little tie points, these are metal, and you could tie these down and pin them to the ground and this thing ain't gonna budge. I would say I could probably pin this thing down as good or better than any tent that I've ever had. And uh, let's go inside and take a look. Shoes off. <clears throat> All right. That's cool. So these push-out sides have a little Velcro cover on them. Um, You've got windows in all corners. Of course, you got the door here. You've got a window there. And what's really cool is they've got these like storage nets. There's nothing you can put in here, but you could easily, it's stitched up from here to here. So these angular nets, you could easily put wet clothes, a towel, something to dry, you know, just food, anything. And of course, you've got hanging bags all over the place on the inside here. You've got a nice little string you can hang your music thing on. Up top, you've got a nice canopy. If you didn't have the fly, you could get lots of air. And there's another storage container there, storage container there, storage container there. So plenty of storage. And again, another one of these Y nets over here. You've got a separation door in the middle. You can see it. Um, pretty good size. And again, this bottom of this floor is not real tightened up because I don't have it stretched out tight, but I don't know that it ever gets a lot tighter than this only because of the way this thing's built. And I don't know if anybody mentioned this to you guys or if you knew this, but this base is Velcroed in. So you can remove this whole entire bottom of this tent and clean it out if you need to. That's pretty cool. Oh, we're getting some rain. 
And then here's the back side of the tent. Looks like the front side, exactly. It's just two four-man tents tied together. Again, you got your windows here. I'll just open one of these up so you can see what we're looking at. And uh, gives you some cross ventilation. You could roll these window sills up and put them within themselves, you know what I mean? Kind of like that. And you could, of course you would do it neater. And then you've got the bags here, bags here, another hanging bag there on the top, and a string to hang some things from. Pretty cool little pouches here on the side too. So there's really no shortage of stuff. And uh, for time's sake, I'm gonna pack this thing down and get it out of the rain. I don't feel like getting a wet tent today. So hopefully I can get this thing packed up quick enough to where it doesn't get too wet. Anyway guys, that's the Gazelle T8. I hope you guys enjoyed the preview and the look around. But uh, yeah, keep in mind, I don't have it strapped down so it looks all loose. But uh, I'm sure once I pinned it up and did everything to it, it would be uh, pretty stable. And again, here's the, here's the other back door right here. Get unzip that and get in easily. So, all right guys, just wanted to show you that and see what you think and uh, check these out. The four man's pretty cool. The Gazelle T4 is a pretty cool tent as well. You might want to look at that if you didn't want something so huge. And they make a T3, I think, as well. So a T3 would be perfect for two people. And uh, they make all kinds of cool stuff. So Gazelle T8, check it out. Thanks, guys.